how to install the undermount extended davit system. It's going to be a step-by-step -step instructional video to show you how this all works. It can be easily removed, stored away. So let's get started. Um, as you can see, these are two other styles of that we do carry. This is our top mount. Let's get this out of the way right now. Give us some room. And this is our drop down davit. Again, put away here so we have some room to work. Um, so you're going to get all this stuff in this box. I'm only going to do one arm today to show you how it all goes together. Cradle. Sorry about the audio, I was very echoey in here, so I'm going to do my best to speak clearly into the camera. Brackets, two of those. And like I said, there'll obviously be you know, four of these in the kit, two of these, and so on and so forth. Enough to make two complete sets. Make pairings. Alright, let's make some room. So the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out where you want to mount your arms and then you're going to have to go underneath and make sure there's nothing in the way no support brackets no swim ladders all that kind of stuff um, so you're going to get an arm like this here this hole here goes in the front disassemble this everything's going to come put together like this here so you have all the hardware on there so it's not too confusing on how this all goes together. So there's three different holes here and the reason we have different holes is in case for whatever reason it doesn't work in that position you have to back it up a few inches. Um, let's say you have a cross member that's going to be in the way where your bolt's going to be half on half off. Uh, you're going to have to adjust that slightly. If you can, you're going to want to put that on the furthest position and then the closest one here for the most support. So once you line it up with that hole, with the little divot, you're going to go and tighten these out. And you could go and put those fairly snug. They're going to sit pretty much flush when you're done. So once you put your plastic pieces on, they're going to sit on top of this. That set screw cannot come out. And we're going to do the same thing for the front one. Pretty straightforward. Bracket. Around. Slide that on there. Line it up. Again, dry fitting this, we're going to want this to sit kind of flush with your platform. You can go in a little bit if you want, it's really up to you. Um, you don't want to go so far in that you can't find where the pin is, you can't see anything. So somewhere in that range. And then these here are going to sit on top of this as spacers. I'm going to put the camera down here so you get a better view of what I'm doing and uh, hopefully that will help a little bit. Alright guys. Now we're going to work under the platform. You're going to use the little spacers here to determine how many of these you're going to need. Um, I'll, put some, I'll put a bolt in there to help that stay in position. Make it a little easier on myself. Just putting a bolt in there so they, they, they stay put. I'm going to put three there. And on the back side, because it's a bit thicker here, our platform, in the section here, we're going to actually put four on the back side. These are an inch thick. Our step is actually three quarters of an inch. So it's going to be out a quarter of an inch, but really that's nothing to be concerned about. It doesn't have to be dead on. Um, just round it off to the, to the closest number. All right. Now the kit's going to come with set up for three, a stack of three, and if you need more than that, there will be some available on our website. So for whatever reason, your platform's extra thick. Um, ours isn't terribly thick here, but 
our platform is very thin, so it kind of makes for a bigger buildup. So let's get this all put together here. All right, we're gonna do a dry fit. We're gonna make sure that this makes sense where we have this. And that looks pretty good right there. Um, so we're gonna, uh, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually hitting on the back side here. So I'm gonna step this in one notch so it sits flush with the end here, but everything else looks good. So now we're gonna move to the top side. I did put a piece of tape on the top of the platform to decide where I want it. That way there you can line yourself up with that piece of tape and make sure you're not hitting anything underneath and that it's going to make sense when you bolt it on. So once we determine that that's good, we're ready to move on to the top side. Alright guys, we are now top side. We do have a piece of tape so we know where to position that. We're going to pull these stacks off. We won't need them for a little bit. And I did say I want to move this one in a notch. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this davit and we're going to put it upside down. Make sure again your hole is facing forward and you're going to sit it where you want it. Where it should be underneath the platform I should say. We're going to line ourselves up. We want to make sure you're nice and square and that it looks good. That looks great to me, nice and square. We're going to use a half inch drill and we're going to use this as our guide. So we're going to start off with the first one here. Now when you're drilling this, don't push very hard. Uh, I know this is just plywood, so it's not fiberglass like you're going to be dealing with, but gel is very chalky and hard, so there's, there's no point in pushing really hard on it. Just let it kind of chew its way through. So let's start with that. So there we go. Now once you have your first hole drilled, grab one of your carriage bolts, throw it down in there. That'll help make sure that all your holes line up. So again, we're going to make sure we're square, just to move a little bit. It looks very good. Hold that down, and we're going to do one more hole on the back side here. You really can't go wrong when you're drilling this, you're doing this uh, right here. Because there's so much distance here, it's a great guide for the drill. You can't go crooked even if you want to. So now we're just going to drill two other holes. And there we go. I'm going to grab the air gun and clean this off as we're uh, ready to start it. Alright guys, I have everything cleaned off with the air gun. I want to make sure everything's nice and clean. Let's take this off. You're going to want to use marine sealant for these holes because you don't want water to get in there because it will rot your platform. Um, 3M, 5200, 4200 works excellent. Uh, it's really up to you what you decide to use. Don't be shy with this. Use lots. It's okay if it makes a mess. So I'm going to have to put some on the top side and on the bottom. I want to make sure that this is perfectly, perfectly sealed. Let's squirt that in there. And obviously you're going to do that for all four holes. I'm only going to do it for this one because this is just for demo purposes. And I don't want to get my hands all dirty. So, there's a stack of three, which we decided goes in the front. We could drop our bolt through there now. Slide it through. And press it in there. Then we'll do the same on the back side. Again, you would use your 3M 5200 or 4200 on the back side as well. Press it in. And now we can grab our davit. Again, make sure that hole's in the front. And line ourselves up with our spacers. So I'm going to put the spacers on there first and then I'm going to, I'm going to poke this in here. That's the plan. Alright, so we got our holes drilled. We got our 5200 on both sides, and I'm just putting those blocks in there now. We just put them in one at a time.
There we go. And grab our davit, pull in the front, and gently line ourselves up here. A washer, a lock washer. So here's a washer. Lock washer. And a nut. Get that started. Backside started. So now that we have that this finger snugged, we can line up our blocks and put the final post through. Get those carriage bolts through all the blocks. Everything should line up great. Washer, lock washer, nut. We've had a lot of people looking for a solution just like this. Because a lot of people have short platforms and they want to carry a dinghy and they just can't because uh, the dinghy hits their transom. On one of these sides here, you're going to grab our dead pin and push it through this way here. You're going to want it on the between the aluminum and the washer. And then our lock washer, and then our nut. And we go ahead and tighten that. There we go. And we could go and finish up tightening all the other ones. You might want to put your hand on the top of the carriage bolt to stop it from spinning. Once the lock nut has some tension on it, um, it won't spin on top. Good. That's good. All right, there we go. So that's pretty much done. That's a that's an install underneath our platform. It sits nice and flush. We are going to grab a rag and wipe off all the excess 3M. And uh, then we're ready to install the actual davit arm. So uh, let's get to that. All right, so let's clean all this off. Make sure you do a good job cleaning that. Once that stuff dries, it's pretty hard to get off. So there we go. That's a done deal. All right, this is going to arrive just like this, pre-assembled. We need to put our plastic arm on. Just remove this bolt. It comes with two nylon washers. You want to put one on each side of the arm. What this does is it stops the arm from being loose or sloppy in, in the, uh, the aluminum part here. So let's get that. doing this is you just start feeding it a little bit and you kind of pin it in place with the bolt so the bolt holds it. On the next side, screwdriver is your friend on this one, back off the bolt a little bit, slide it in there and then hold it in place with the screwdriver while you push on that bolt and that's it. After you do a few of them it gets easier and easier. All right, so now we're ready to tighten this up. This is not the proper tool for that, but we can do that right now. It's kind of hard to tell how tight you're putting it. I usually like doing it so there's just a little bit of tension on the arm, and that's actually perfect. So now there's, there's no play in that at all. It's solid. And we are ready to just slide this in. Time with that, line them up, put our locking pin in there, and that's it, you are in business. This is going to rock. This can actually go all the way 
90 degrees. Um, obviously, you don't want to try to load your CD or dinghy with it like that. So you can put the pin in here and it'll stop it from going any further than 45. So you basically, you're going to pull up your CD or dinghy to the upright position, cinch it down. You can lock this if you want so the arm doesn't move, but you don't really need to. Um, once you have it strapped down, it's got nowhere to go. It's, you know, it's wanting to, to, uh, to stay down. So. so that's about it guys. I hope that helps you. I'm going to give you a better look at this, what we're looking at.